Hey YouTube! I'm back again. Well, it's been a little bit since my last video, about a week and a half or so, when I did a video on putting together your own box camera, for which I actually have a giveaway that we're going to draw here in a few days, probably Wednesday this week. I'll probably draw that and try to get that shipped out to the lucky winner. So if you missed that video, I'll link it at the end. Take a look at it. Today we're going to talk about just a quick tip on how to measure shutter speed of a camera. If you want to know what your shutter speed is, like that plastic box camera that I built last week, or it's a twin lens camera rather that I built last week. I need to try to figure out what the shutter speed is because it didn't indicate the shutter speed or the aperture. But I'm hoping I can at least use this technique to figure out what the shutter speed is and then I can take a guess at the aperture and, and then probably get pretty close that it's probably an f8 or f11, something in that range. So today, let's take a look at how I'm going to try to measure the shutter on this camera using my iPhone. Thanks for watching and roll the intro. Peace. Okay, here's the setup that we're using to do this little test of a shutter speed, okay? So we're gonna take my plastic box camera or twin lens camera, which is here, and we're gonna take my iPhone, which is here, mounted on a MiPhoto tripod adapter, as well as, I also have a moment lens on here, a 58 millimeter moment lens, to kind of give me a 2X magnification so I can keep the phone back and I don't have to put it all the way up against it to get tight. I can keep it back and still get pretty tight in there. And you'll see that a little bit later when we take a look at the video from this. But we're gonna put our phone in 240 frames per second, slow motion video mode. And then we're gonna hit record. While it's recording, we're gonna take this light, a little flashlight like this here. We're gonna, I'm gonna, this one's kind of cool because I can zoom it all the way out and have a really tight beam. And I'm gonna cap it right over the top of this camera like such. And then we're just gonna hit that shutter and you see you saw that shutter button the light in the shutter there in the camera that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to we want to record that shutter opening and closing in 240 frames per second slow motion on the iphone's camera and then we're going to take that little clip of video and we're going to examine those few frames where that shutter opens and closes and we're going to see how many frames the shutter was open during the 240 frames per second. So think about it. We have 240 frames in a second we're getting. If this camera is a 1 60th of a second camera, 60 divided by 240 is four. So we should see four frames in there that are open. If we see five frames, then it's about a 1 50th, 1 48th, 1 50th of a second camera, etc. So by the number of frames that are open of those 240 frames, we can kind of determine pretty good approximation of what the shutter speed is of this little camera. And it's probably gonna be somewhere in the 50th or the 60th of a second range like a lot of those cameras were although some of them could be as slow as a 30th of a second after they sat for a while in the spring just got weak over a number of years but this being fairly new will probably be in the 50 60th of a second mode so that's what we're going to do record this shutter opening and closing with 240 frames per second so let's take a look at that video so here we are into the computer this is the clip that i took in davinci resolve the video editor that I used. So this is the one second clip that I took and I placed these two little blue markers that are just pointed to there to the beginning and the ending of the shutter opening. All right, so let's take a look. We're gonna move the playhead up to the first blue marker. And as I start going through the marker, you'll see, boom, there's a shutter opening. And there it is a little more, frame number two, frame number three, frame number four, and frame number five. So we saw the shutter stayed open for around five frames, probably somewhere between four and five frames that we just kind of missed those little in-between parts. So that's pretty safe to say that this camera has a shutter speed of somewhere around 1 50th of a second. Five into 240 is, you know, pretty close to 50. All right, thanks for watching that short little tip on how to check the shutter speed on either a toy plastic box camera that you just got to try to have fun and put one together and have no idea what it is. Now you have a better idea, or I have a better idea what it is. Maybe you got an old box camera from ages ago that only has one shutter setting. You need to try to figure it out. There's a way to do it. Maybe you have an old 35 millimeter film camera or any other film camera where you can film the shutter opening and closing with a bright light just like I showed. It'll work on anything. And obviously you can go to 240 frames per second, so that means you could test up the 200 
50 of a second if you wanted to. So with 240 frames, it should be open in about a frame, not quite a whole frame, should be open in there somewhere. And you know it's working right. If it's open for more than two frames at a 250th of a second, you know you're a little slow. And you know, if you don't find it at all, you know they're running a little fast. You know, you could check at anything lower than that. So just hope that's a tip that might be able to help you out checking your shutter if you're interested in it, not scientific, but just a way to get an idea other than just totally guessing. So hope that helped. Thanks for watching. And again, in about three or four days, I'll be doing that giveaway on that black camera. So just click the link at the end of this video if you want to check that video out. If you haven't already seen it, leave a comment. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Throw a comment if you want to talk and give me a shout out. I appreciate it. Your time today and just make it a great day. Peace!